This year, we've had many issues with buses being late in the morning, afternoon, and some just don't show up. To get all sides of the story, we first asked Tyson Birch, Director of Facilities and Transportation for TCAPS, his take on the matter. Yes, our, our buses are late for uh, numerous reasons. I mean, we, we start with a, a mechanical issue or the bus being stuck, uh, weather. C currently today we have fog out there, so the buses have to run um, a little bit slower. So that they do become somewhere between five and 10 minutes late just because of the weather. Eighth grader Evie Link's bus has been late often and it has caused many problems for her throughout the school year. So my bus is late all the time. It's not extremely late, but we usually get here around 7.20 and she parks really far away even when we're late. So we have to walk super far and by the time we walk, it's almost time for class to start. TCAPS, as well as the rest of the state, has a shortage of drivers, and substitutes they call alternate drivers can be hard to find. According to Mr. Birch, it can take up to a month just to be able to drive a bus. However, experience matters when it comes to students. So if a driver that's a substitute misses a road, and it takes them five or ten minutes to turn around and get back on track, that could be another late issue. So we bring in six alternate drivers every morning because uh, we normally have something from the do. Either somebody calls in sick, somebody's out on a long-term illness, uh, somebody has a death in the family. So we bring those drivers in, but we're, we're short of those drivers too. Former governor of Michigan, Rick Snyder, passed a law that allows retired drivers who want to come back withdraw their retirement with full pay. So if a driver retires and wants to come back, they can only make one third of what they were making before. So the state is trying to assist us with getting retired drivers back to work that aren't on a pay restriction. Another way the district is trying to make the buses more effective is called front seat loading, which is designed to make getting onto the bus go faster. In the morning, when you get on the bus, you immediately sit in the front seat. And then when you go to the next stop, then you move out of the front seat and you can sit wherever you want, where those students getting on the bus sit in the front seat. Though their buses and drivers aren't perfect, Birch wants to let students, parents, and staff know that they are trying their best. This has been McKeeley and Molly reporting for Trojan TV.